Hi, this is James with Breads Electronics, breadselectronics.com, and this is a tutorial for HughesNet Satellite Internet. Today I'm going to go over with you some of the status light indicators on your HughesNet modem. Um, if there's ever a problem with your HughesNet and some of the lights go off, uh, I'm going to show you what you can look for to try to track down what the problem might be. These are the two modems that HughesNet currently has out. The Hughes HN9000 and the Hughes HN7000. The first modem I'm going to talk about is the, the HN9000. On the HN9000 we have five status lights. LAN, Transmit, Receive, system and power. On the modem, under normal operation, all of the lights should be lit up blue and the receive light is going to constantly blink. When you start to browse or when there's traffic on the network, the transmit light will also start to blink. The top light, the LAN light, that is the light that indicates if the modem is plugged into a computer or a router. If that light is off, then most likely the Ethernet cable that is coming out of the back of the modem is either unplugged, it could be damaged, or in some cases the modem could be bad. If that is the case, the modem will need to be replaced. Another scenario, <coughs> if the LAN light is off, could indicate that you have a bad network adapter in the computer or in the router. The next two lights we're going to talk about is the transmit and the receive light. And if your satellite is aligned correctly and you're receiving a signal, from the satellite, then these two lights will remain lit. They will blink, as mentioned earlier. When these lights are off, the most common problem is the satellite is out of alignment. Sometimes you'll have bad equipment on your satellite dish that will need to be replaced. If this is the case, sometimes the receive light may remain lit and then transmit and the system light will, will be off. Another common problem that we see with these lights being out is the cable that runs from your satellite to your modem. Connections in the cable or the cable itself could be bad and may need to be replaced. The bottom light is the power light which should remain lit as long as the modem is plugged into the wall outlet. The last problem that we see with the HughesNet 9000 is the system light turning red and the other lights going off completely. If this has happened, then that is an indicator that the modem is bad. It will need to be replaced in this situation. The Hughes HN7000 pretty much has the same setup you have an LAN light, the transmit light, the receive light, the system light, and the power light. The only difference with this modem compared to the 9000 series is where these two lights will blink under normal operation, all three of the top lights will blink on the 7000 series. Some of the problems are the same as the 9000. If any of the three lights in the middle are off, it could indicate a hardware failure, a cable failure, or a connection failure. When the modems first start up, usually the power light will come on, the LAN light will come on, the receive light will come on, followed by the transmit, and after sometimes three to four minutes, the system light will finally come on. This is under normal operation. If you have any questions or need further assistance,
contact us at www.breadselectronics.com. 